got me like a hell cut. What's up guys? I'm introducing this video like every other YouTuber in the world. Actually, no, I'm not. Never mind. Welcome back to World of Warships and Tabletop Simulator. <laughs> okay, so we're back with the Sky Cancer, aircraft carriers, whatever you wish to call them. But in this instance, we are a little more experienced than we used to be. Send our fighters out to scout, we'll send our torps and dives off to the narrows at sea for and i have learned some new things like for example one two, ready for i can now directly control the ship which makes torpedo beats much more possible there we go there goes our dive bombers in fact if we go to them we can actually watch them individually which is so much cooler oh they're gonna fly into a mountain that's bad oh no they climbed Airborne. impressive Let's go back into proper mode, shall we say? Yeah, it's been a while, and I've played a lot more CV than I had since the last video. So I know a little bit more about it. In fact, I've been learning quite a bit from some other... Oh, here we go. I've been learning quite a bit from some other players who are, shall we say, more experienced carrier pilots. And it definitely gives you an advantage. So their squadron is going to that position. Which means... Now they're coming in our way. So our fighters are coming towards them. Let's attack. Over. Uh, no. We'll just hold off here. We'll bring everything else in. We'll keep the fighters around just to loiter. Okay, so we just strafed past him and we lost a plane, which is not ideal, but it gives us the option to come back and attack again. Fire. We have actually an equal number of planes. We still have four up. Now we have the advantage. We lost an aircraft. It's even again. wonder what this looks like in... Oh, even harder to see anything. Okay, so we'll go back up here. So we're losing aircraft, but once the thing behaves itself, what have we got over there? Nothing I can see yet. Let's break this contact, shall we? Not really doing us any benefit at this point. In fact, there's only one plane. We'll RTB them. We'll pick up some new ones. So we don't see anything ready to attack yet. So what we'll do is we'll send our torpedoes and dive bombers over here using the mini map to select them and we are a little bit dogged by fighters so let's pull these back towards one of our ships okay that's fine so we can send them back where we're going again if in doubt head towards your ships their anti-aircraft helps you shoot down enemy planes which is a big advantage so our carrier should be there. We're going to send her a different route because right now it's not as efficient as we want. We want to be stationed off towards A. No, oh, wrong one. That was a bomber. So we'll send it this way. This is the one we're trying to fight over. This will be where the most of the ships are. So this will be a biggest advantage to us. Let's get our aircraft into position here. And then we can attack. And soon we'll have our fighters back up and we'll send those guys out as well to help defend them. Group two, ready. That is one individual fighter from a ship, so that's not as big a threat for us. We can send someone in to handle him. Uh, Splits on that indicates if it's a squadron or not. Airborne. Okay, so here come our aircraft now. And we'll get to do some attacking. Where are they? We'll bring them in here, nice and close, so we'll go after their cruisers. Try and keep the fight on this point. Cruisers are often a lot harder to go for, but can be worth the attack. What do we got here? Where's Yorick gone? 
Oh, we've got King George there, and he's in the narrows. Okay, this will do. He's in a slightly screwy spot, and that's a squadron, so we're going to have to be very careful here. Drop on him. Three. Yep, three is being attacked, so that's a problem. We'll have to just keep doing our drop as we go. We're going to get the drop in. And it could be a good drop. George is going to be right in the line of our torpedoes. I think we might get a kill here. One hit. Two hits. No. No kill, but close enough. Two is wiping out their fighter squadron. So our star... Attack aircraft go back to the carrier and respawn, or rearm in this case. We're about to win a dogfight, which is good for us. Come on, they have one plane left. How hard can it be to shoot him down? Oh, and we're taking fire now. Disengage the autopilot because we're about to hit an island. Nice. Two, she, no, we'll just fall back. We don't want our RTB entirely. Torpedoes dead ahead. Ah, torps, we're fine. Autopilot mode enabled. We'll go. Yeah, close enough. All right, where's two gone? Where are their fighters? We'll keep these boys loitered over here, just so we can utilize them for potential future attacks. What you're seeing when I do this screen, this is the manual attack mode, which in fighters lets you strafe, and in dive bombers and torpedo bombers allows you to properly utilize, there we go, there's one fighter will have him, allows you to basically utilize a manual drop. More precise, requires more skill and experience. I'm not perfect with it yet, so I tend to use it great for attacking individual targets or breaking into a fight with, a, with fighters, but in this case, when you're handling or when you're stuck in a dogfight, I should say, and you want to break off, strafe away from them. Immediately breaks contact. Okay, so we'll just send this round here. Just so we're out of sight. Three and four ready to roll. We'll bring them in. What have we got? No aircraft to speak of, but we'll keep our fighters staged. Ready to attack when necessary. Here come our attack aircraft. And we have got targets here. Nagato will be our first. Grabbing the outer ring allows you to change the actual strafe direction. So when you're coming in to drop the bombs, if you're coming in from the side, bombs drop in a line. Less likely to get as many to hit. You want to try and get forwards to backwards. It's best option. Once we get closer, we may try a manual drop, but we'll see. Three... Let's bring them in and attack Nagato as well, seeing as she's struggling. And we have got Britannia over there, so we may go for Britannia actually because she's less in trouble. But Nagato seems to have stopped entirely, so this could be a great opportunity to strike. In fact, it's going to be. Let's do a manual. Now we'll go to a normal one, sorry. Come on, drop those torps. Hit Nagato, let's take her out. Approaching target. We should be good here. Fighters to take out. Torps are coming. We're going to get this one. Although, somebody else got it for us, so that's not ideal. Fighters are incoming to defend us, though. And our rear gunners and our torpedo bombers are actually doing a reasonable job. Shot another one down. The fighters should deal with the last one. And that should be the last of his fighters. I hope. Okay, two. He's got aeroplanes, so we're going to go down there and mess with them. They are retreating over their own ship, so we have to be careful not to overfly their vessels as well. Here comes one of his fighters. He's going to bravely try and take us on. This should be a fairly simple fight. One-on-one -on -one shipborne fighter to our squadron. Still have four aircraft left in that squadron. So their torpedo bombers are back there somewhere. We aren't going to engage them just yet. We are winning the game, so we're doing what we need to do. Our objective here is to provide support, so we go for juicier targets. And more importantly, take them out. So Britannia's about to go down. They've got one battleship, one destroyer, and one carrier. So Colorado. We'll be taking on Colorado next. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the ship out. Autopilot mode enabled. And bring her right into this fight. Full steam ahead. Four, Let's three, engage the contact. Off. Let's go for Colorado. And torpedo bombers. We're going for Colorado. Now what I'm going to do with my fighters, just in case he has spares still. I think there's minor down here. We're going to attach to the torpedo planes and provide them with cover. So let's go for Colorado, who at this time is reversing. So an after attack would be put... Oh yeah, Colorado might be in trouble here. This could be a fairly simple one. Not that there's bombers over here. I might risk breaking off to go after their bombers. In fact, we're going to do just that. The top should be okay on their own. Colorado is somehow still alive. We can finish her off here, so. No, nope, there goes Colorado. So it's time to find out where their carrier is. So let's send everything south. Where are you? Catch up to them. We'll fly follow them back. That's the easiest way. Follow them back to base. They should tell us where the carrier is. And as none of our ships are down there, we might actually get a stab at this one. There she is. Okay, perfect. Just lock them on so they get into range. Our fighters are incoming. Let's set fire to her deck. So an aft attack. Or this will be a forward attack, I should say. Someone's striking. Don't appear to have any anti-aircraft going for them. Should be good to go here. Good hit. Decks are on fire, so she can't launch aircraft. Torpedo strike incoming. Let's do this, boys. Four, five good planes. This should be a good hit. Oh, can we get the kill? Go on, kill his, kill his planes. We might get this kill. Please get the kill. Please get the kill. Good night. And they have one destroyer left. Nice. And that one destroyer is over here, being attacked rather aggressively by our Texas. We'll just fly our planes over there and irritate them. We can't really attack them, but we might as well try. I don't know whether strafing affects ships. We'll find out. So as a carrier pilot, I've improved a lot and I've actually learned to appreciate this game mode far, far more than I had before. Previously, I just hated them. I didn't really understand how to play as a carrier. It was something I really didn't understand. And I've learned. This is a fun game mode. It's very tactical. It's a support role. You're helping your team by selecting targets, providing cover, blocking their attacks towards you. So as a skill, it's a very useful one. Will this work? I don't know. It does nothing. RTB. He's about to go down anyway. But yes, it's a tactical support role, just like the real world. You're providing help to your team, and it works very well. And Texas is about to get punched in the face by that Fubuki. Good night, Texas. This could be a longer game than we realize. But my dive bombers will be back in a second, so we'll bring them out anyway. Since we brought the carrier forwards. We're in close support role now. You can move forwards, which, of course, reduces your return to aircraft carrier and launch times. Which, of course, is a huge help. So we're going to go look for Fubuki with the dive bombers. We might as well try and get everything. Why not? Let's try and get Fubuki, shall we? Is there one ship left? Although we are close on time. The dive bombers might get into range just. Let's see if we can spot him. Will we end the game with this one? Sink the Fubuki. Not quite as classy a title as Sink the Bismarck, but I'll go with it. Predict where he's going to go, more importantly. There you are. Get him. Get him. No, and the game ends. <laughs> Either way, that was the independence. That is Fire Kit not sucking at playing a carrier, which <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with. It's definitely an improvement on my gameplay, and it shows another fun side to this game that you can enjoy, and one that I'm learning to enjoy. In fact, I'm about to upgrade to the Ranger, the Tier 7 American Carrier, so you'll see some of that in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys, and thank you for watching.
Bye.